Hey, got Fox here. So I don't do many of these, but he will be the last one for 18 lineup update. As you can see, we're starting with the defense because, you know, I oftentimes start with, start with the offense and we got to give some respect to the other guys, put them up front. And plus this side of the ball, I feel like this just looks better. Like all the shininess on the defense. I feel like it's got more aesthetics than my offense. We got the, uh, the I, I don't know what you call it, the, the Ronnie, the situation, the Pauly D. Um, and uh, whatnot type of defense here. Just just gorgeous dudes, um, the, the hottest dudes, the chillest restaurants, and the uh, loveliest ladies is, is who we have in our defense. I'm not, I'm not memeing very well. But let's go through one by one and talk about our lineup. We'll be getting reviews out on these guys. Now, Keekly flanked by Barr and Floyd. Um, and this isn't my lineup normally. This I, I like to make subs at the beginning of the game to max out their stats with my boost and stuff. So we'll show that afterwards to show the maxed out chems. But here it is basically without just with the Peterson chem. So Keekly up to 94 speed. We get Barr. Um, if we show what Barr and Floyd can be. Um, so Barr gets up to 97, which is just glorious. Um, Floyd can get up to 95. Uh, but overall, like they're statted pretty similarly. I said in my review, I like Barr slightly more with the, the extra two speed versus one inch. I feel like slightly better, but I don't I don't think there's an issue with Floyd and you liking Floyd. So I know people in the comments, there's a little bit of controversy like Floyd's way better. Um, it's not even not even close. And, and, and really, it is really close, in my opinion. And there is a little bit of um, degree of opinion in, in, in which card you like better and I think both of them will play studly. So here it is, the, the Kelvin Johnson golden ticket. Now, at here is at free safety. I have a bunch of free safeties. I got the Amos. I'm still getting footage on. You'll see reviews of a lot of these cards. Amos is stock 99 speed. Um, hit power at 95. So a little bit lower than, like, if he had, like, he didn't need toughness. But if he had, like, uh, what, physical front to get the 99 hit power, glorious. But he's only 6 foot. We got Cam Chancellor here at 6'3". Sean Taylor at 6'2". So Sean Taylor's at the 98 speed. Chancellor's up to 96 speed. Um, I, I do, I really think every inch matters in the defensive back core. Um, 6'3", 6'4", 6'5", on Kelvin um, is kind of nice, especially with 99 speed. That's the ultimate user right there. Probably the best defensive card in the game, um, uh, I think, hands down, is that Kelvin Johnson because of that height and that speed. Just just game-changing. So Cam Chance is over there. We're getting some footage. I like him at strong safety. Good card. Adrian Amos there. Humphrey's a backup. Sean Taylor. So if I end up, I sold Brian Dawkins in order to get some pieces on offense. Um, but he was probably a, an unfortunate. I had unfortunately I had to sell him. But we got enough defensive backs here. Jalen Ramsey and Patrick Peterson. Not so great against the run, but my guy can they play man coverage? Like just looking at these two, they're the 99 speed, they're 99 man coverage. Patrick Peterson, in my opinion, is the better of the two uh, blockbusters because of the secure tackler, and he's got the extra agility, which is super nice. But Jalen Ramsey himself is no slouch. So pff, overall, good man cover type of team there. Moss could use a little bit more man coverage on his, his skill set. Humphrey there ain't bad either at, at CB4, but generally I'll put Moss at CB4 to be in the user for the 46 speed package. Humphrey at like CB3 then. All right, so that's those two. The defensive line, we do have White here, but he'll probably get sold and I'll probably end up using Lawrence Taylor down at defensive end again, but White, I'm just kind of trying to see. If he starts making a lot of plays for me, I might keep him. Um, and then get rid of uh, Lawrence Taylor, but uh, we'll we'll see how it looks. Here he is against Demarcus Lawrence, both both left ends. I have Reggie White playing at right end though. Um, stock 99s across the board, really good. I I don't have anything else to say um, other than my goodness, my goodness gracious. We got Golden Ticket Aaron Donald at defensive tackle versus Mean Joe Green there. Essentially the same card, right? Donald's got a little bit better or a lot better finesse move. But the way, I guess the under pressure is quite a bit of difference maker. But I haven't seen Donald make many more plays than Mean Joe in the on the field. So him being, what, eight times as expensive as Mean Joe, it doesn't really make sense to have it that way. All right, that's the defense for the lineup for the offense here. We got Golden Ticket Terrell Pryor at quarterback. The reason he's on the roster versus other ones is just he was the last Golden Ticket quarterback I got. And I, didn't, I, I switched over, used Wentz for a little bit. Um, and didn't really like Wentz, so I went back to Pryor. I think Cam Newton's still my favorite golden ticket quarterback that I've used. Bo Jackson here cost me an arm and lane. I don't even want to know what he costs anymore. I'll actually show him fully standard out once I get all the boosts. We got Hopkins and Rice, um, and, and then Odell out there surrounding Rice, him and Hopkins on, on the on the wings. Our offensive line, like I could get blockbuster offensive linemen. That would be nice. Like I got some slow guards. I don't pull a lot. 
Um, but I do have some slow guards. If I ever do need to do that, it's going to be kind of a weakness of mine. But really, I got 99 run block, and I'm still getting shed pretty darn quickly. I know Will Shields doesn't have 99 run block. He's got 98, so maybe he's the, the shed central. But it does feel like even with these high-end 99, 98, Mean Joe Green still eats their lunch, and I still have trouble running up the middle, even with these guys at high 90s, um, just the way Madden Mechanics works with the sheds. So I guess... Uh, Tyron, he, he, he'll boost up to 99 once I get my offense set. So Kelsey's been very good, good tight end. He's tall, he's fast, he's a matchup nightmare. Um, and he can run block, 92 run block, pretty, pretty nice. So 96 speed, yeah, look at that. All right, now I'll show you what my actual, um, with the chems, or my actual lineup that I go into games with. This is the actual lineup I go into games with. Now you can see the, the pound the rock over here, toughness and, and physical front all active. Um, just because now, so, so when you look at uh, Tyron here, actually he doesn't go up to 99, does he? He goes up to 97, so he doesn't go all the way up to 99 with the, the tier five, but still a very good left tackle. No reason to upgrade over him. Looks like the card art is kind of messed up. Thanks EA, appreciate it. Um, so he's fast, he's got it all. So Bo Jackson, someone I wanted to show you guys the stats off with, with maxed out chem. Like, 99 is almost down across the board. Only got 98 agility, 98 carrying, 98 spin. But otherwise, perfect. Look at that. God dang. Beautiful man. Le'Veon Bell himself. My third down back. Not so bad. I got Franco at fullback. Steelers, Love, and then LaDainian Tomlinson, who's kind of just riding the pine right now. But he'd boost up to 98 speed and just be as glitchy as Mr. Le'Veon. Um, so, overall, a very solid lineup. Should we miss the games? Hopefully... Um, let me know if you guys want to see some gameplay. I'll be doing some reviews of a lot of these players up on the channel in the next um, few days to weeks, and we'll get in some content with it and streams and stuff. Um, Doug Peterson there. So we'll see what's to come. I think we're almost done with promos like that. That's probably it for promos and, and Mutt uh, because, you know, Weekend League is ending. The game is coming out August 3rd on Early Access. So besides for, like, Rookie Premiere, maybe some, like, Fap Weekend shenanigans, we might be out. I don't know. Maybe, or maybe we'll get the July 4th promo. It's a couple weeks away. Maybe we'll get lucky and get that because that'd be hot. So this is the team I actually go into. Randy Moss at CB4. I actually sub in Kelvin at CB3. Um, and then I'm testing out Adrian Amos. But if I were to like go hard, I think I'd sell Adrian, put Sean Taylor in at free safety, um, and then do the same thing. Um, put Kelvin out there at CB3 and Moss at CB4. So all right. Let me know what you guys think of the lineup. Hopefully, they, Or actually, maybe Cam. I'd put Kelvin at, at strong safety, maybe. I, I had to think about it because I like I like tall guys in the flats in the 46. If I flip it, then my strong safety and CB4 would be in the flats. And then I have 6'4 guys over there. Anyways, that's it. For, let me know what you guys think. How are you guys' lineups doing? You guys got your end game team. Um, hopefully you guys are having a good time still on Madden. If not, well, you know, it's only like a month plus till the new one. So maybe I'll see you for 19 if you're watching this still. But otherwise... Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you guys tomorrow.